It's a nice rock in the wood. Isn't that cool looking? And when you flip it over, those tunnels lead to some more cool tunnels. Now, as I told you, we have the egrets and the heron and the waterfowl that come hunting. I'm going to put this rock with these nice little hiding places in it into the water. I took it from the wood creek bed and I'm bringing it to the this area creek bed in the hopes that it helps the creatures living here to have a hiding place of some kind. The entryway you see will be the two holes on top so that now they can go in the two holes on top and then the bottom has all that action. Now this is the water we speak of, zoom goes the tadpole. When we're talking about what has been created by the work that the engineers have done. This is water that is staying here now. And we have had successful estivation of frog activity here for five years. A direct result of channeling the water here. And we have had uh, the red striped garter snake active here. We have footage of it. Thamnopus proximus rubra lineatus. It's unique to this part of the country, the world. Um, just south of Texas, it has the red line down the back. And, you know, northern Mexico. And so they are active here. We've captured and filmed them. This water is surviving, and the drought year is coming. Again, my prediction is, was 19 or 20. Now I'm thinking more like 19. But this year, 18, using the field as normal as a barometer as we have in the past, I feel it's not as bad as it could get. But we are in significant drought situation now. 